City, New Jersey, for the first fight of this afternoon with our main commentator in Te Reo, or the Hakina Kina Meke Meke, Colonel Bob Sheridan. Take. On the tail of the tape, you'll see that the Jelker is two and a half inches shorter. The weight's exactly the same. You'll see that Jelker is uh, five years older, and of course he is giving away eight inches at reach. He's coming off a win, a third round TKO over Osmond uh, Akatis uh, in France, and uh, Jorge Cordero lost his uh, last, of the fr uh, last fight, his first round to Lou Del Val in Poughkeepsie, New York. That fight was in March. So let's see how they go here. The French fighter is an excellent fighter. Benny, what's the book on the French fighter? Well, he had 124 fights as an amateur, and this is a five-time French champ also. He was a champion in the uh, European, the EEU, and uh, excellent, excellent fighter. Born in Algeria, but grew up in, well, of course, where Jeff Fenix is also from. 26 years of age, and he wanted to make the trip over to the United States to show the world what he can do as a fighter. He's going up against Jorge Cordero from Moca, Puerto Rico, and this is a young man who goes down in a hurry. Look at this. Cordero is down. It's up to two. And finally, he bounces right back up, so the kid in the blue and gray, Jorge Cordero from Puerto Rico, gets in a heap of trouble here before the seats get warm in the Tropicana. Well, you look at that, has been pretty much the history of Joker. Oh, look at this! Oh, what a hang down goal, Joker! How about that? He's hard! Bumping down! I tell you what, right now, he's in Algeria someplace. This kid had 124 amateur fights. I told you, folks, that you want to be on time to see this fight. Both guys have been down. So we know the Frenchman can bang. He's already got nailed on the jaw. And the kid from uh, Puerto Rico, he's something else, too. They're really going at it here. He just tripped over Cordero's feet. It wasn't that he was wobbly. He just tripped over his feet. The reason for that, of course, is Cordero's a southpaw. And that happens with southpaw and orthodox fighters. So he's having a bit of problem. Big left hook again. Landed by Jelker. Wow. This is some fight to start this show off. Well, I tell you what, this is like a United Nations war right here. They're leaving defense to somebody else, so they're just going to go after each other right here. And again, watch the feet, folks. Watch the feet. The southpaw right there, Cordero, trying to get in between the left foot of Jelk here. Trying to work the outside is a southpaw, but it isn't working. Look at the battle back and forth there. Jelker, again in the black trunks, 124 amateur fights. No, he's fighting even though he's only... Oh, and down goes Cordero again! That's the second time for him. It's up to two and three. He may not be able to make it. Five and six and seven. He's not going to make it. This fight's all over. We've got a first round knockout in our very first fight of the evening. Joker knocks out Jorge Cordero in round number one. What a battle for as long as it went, Benny. I have never seen that kind of swing around right there. I mean, just that fast. Jelker dropped Cordero. Cordero drops Jelker. It looked like Jelker was not going to recover. And now all of a sudden, Cordero now is totally out. And it looked like Jelker was wide open, Colonel. Wide open. Because, I mean, he comes in. He leaves caution to the wind. I mean, he was coming in to attack with everything he had. Was wide open for any kind of left hook. But no, Cordero could not deliver that and ends up getting knocked out. Boy, Cordero, after he dropped Jelker, I thought we might have a few rounds. Oh. We told you at the top of the show, get ready for some knockouts. Didn't expect the first round knockout. Uh, Jelker came in here 6-0 and with five knockouts. Now he's 7-0 and with six knockouts. And, and these are guys that we really don't know them. They've been fighting in, uh, in uh, Europe. So, Benny, take a look at the knockdowns one after the other. Well, watch right here. He ends up right there. This is going to be the first knockdown, and it's going to be right there. The right hand, the right hand right there by Jelker that drops Cordero. He appears to be fine right here. Now, watch how quickly he turns this fight around. It is just this quick. Jelker now with a lot of confidence coming in to finish, and there it is. A left hand right on the button. That anesthesia punch six inches from him right on the button. Look at Jelker. Right now, I'm telling you, he's back in Algeria someplace. Well, that was a left-hand power shot from the southpaw fighter. So what would you expect? Look at this at the end, though. And that was a left hand right there by Jelka that ends up dropping Cordero for good. Cordero right there. I thought he was fine. But the legs, they were not fine right there. And all of a sudden, he goes down again. And then you see referee right there, David Franciosi right there, calling off the fight. But heavy-handed Jelk here. And this is the guy, Gaddafi Jelk here. And we saw him yesterday. We were talking to him before the fight. He had this intense look on his face. I think he even scared Vinny Banaloni the way he was looking at him. This guy weighs 126 pounds. That was a pretty awesome punching, Vinny. What do you think? Okay, Joe Antonacci standing by. Let's go up and get the official particulars, Joe. 
Boxing fans are pay-per-view star boxing. Joe DeGuardia star boxing pay-per-view broadcast and Orange TV broadcast gets off to a rousing start at 2 minutes and 27 seconds of round number one. Your winner by TKO from France, Kadafi Kado Jelkin.